Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the easy photo galleries that were introduced in version 4 of Easy Mobile Site Generator. There's quite a bit to cover, so this may be quite a long video. I'm going to start by going to this option here, Easy Mobile Galleries, and that gives me a page where I can enter and create a new uh, image gallery. So I just click Add New to add a new image gallery, and it starts up. And I just give this a, t a name. Now I know I'm going to be uploading some pictures of some animals, so I'm going to call this one Wildlife. This first section here allows you to resize the images as you upload them. Because we're talking about mobile devices, you want these images to, to be relatively small. And so I find that if you set the maximum height and the maximum width to be 480, then the, it will produce images that are a good size for both landscape and portrait mode on a mobile device. I'm actually not going to do that on this particular uh, upload because I already have images that are quite small really here. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how we upload images. All you do is click this button here that says Upload Images and I choose from my computer. So here's the images that I want to upload. I'm just going to select the whole lot of these images, every single one of them. Click the Open button and you see they all start to upload here. So let me just scroll down a little bit, and we should see some of the images starting to appear. Yes, you can see them starting to be uploaded now, down here. So it's showing you as it's going along, uploading the images. So this is live uploading images. Um, while it's busy uploading, I have just quickly explained a couple of these links below each image. Remove from gallery. If you've got an image that you want to take out of this particular gallery, it doesn't remove it from your WordPress system, but it removes it from this particular gallery. And you can edit the captions, so you can put the captions titles on each of the images if you want. So that's it, it's uploaded all my images for me, so I've got all these images here that are going to display in my image gallery. If I want to reorder them, maybe I want to move the zebras here to a different place, I just click and hold and drag them to wherever I want them, so let's put the zebras down there. Um, maybe we want to start off with the this eagle picture at the very beginning, so let's put that one there. Maybe we want to split these two macaws into different areas, so um, what should we do? Let's move the, this macaw down here somewhere. Let's put him across there. Okay, so as you see, it's very, very easy to do. Um, once you've done that, just click Publish, and those images are all ready to go on a, a gallery. Now, down at the bottom of the page, we've got a link for the short codes that we can use. We have five different layouts we can use. We have a grid layout, a horizontal carousel, a montage gallery, an animated grid, or a slideshow. And all we have to do is use whichever uh, short code we want to use for the relevant style that we want to display. Now, for each of these different displays, there's also two ways of uh, display the image if the user clicks on the little thumbnails or whatever. So they can either have a slideshow or they can have a light box. Or you can set the button on so that if they actually touch the images on their phone, it doesn't actually show anything else. It just keeps the, the whatever size image you put. The carousel, the horizontal carousel, has an additional option which is called inline, which just displays a, a bigger image underneath the very, very small thumbnails that you get with a horizontal carousel. Let's go and just create a, a quick website so we can look at one of these and we'll use the grid image initially to display it. So let's just grab our short code here, copy it. And let's go and just quickly make ourselves a, a very fast little site. I'm only going to make just a single page. I'm not even going to uh, change it round or anything. So just uh, not, not put a logo or anything like that. So let's just add new here. So I'm creating a new page. And I'm just going to paste in there my gallery image. I missed one of the bits off there. Oops. I missed one of the angles off there. Let's just call this uh, photo image gallery. Nothing 
very special. I'm going to copy that name and put it in my title for the page down here. Paste it there. And that's literally all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do anything more. Just very, very quickly do that and publish it. Just so that I can show you through the uh, preview option what will actually happen with this. So there we go. We've created a, page, a, a website. And if I go down to the preview screen, you can see there's all the images there now. So down here. And it, like I said before, when someone clicks on them, then we get a, a, either a slideshow or a light box opened. I think... Yeah, this one's got a slideshow, so here are the images and the user can click on the little arrows to go backwards and forwards and click the X to close that particular slideshow. So there would be on the on the mobile phone they'd be able to scroll up and down like that. Okay. Now if we want to change that and use a different uh, layout, I, I know sort of the other shortcuts so I can very, very quickly change it. We could just change this to be a montage, so let's just upload that, so M for montage, let's go down and preview that, so you see now it's fitted the images on screen and used the sizes and created just a nice little layout on the screen there to make it a lot more interesting. And it always uses the last image to sort of fill the, the bottom of the, the, the page there. So again, when you click on something, you get a, a, a light box or a slideshow. This particular, the, the montage is set up to use a, a light box at the moment, so I've got a light box that fills the screen. And this also resizes if you're using landscape or portrait mode, and everything resizes accordingly. Okay, let's just look at one of the others, then I'll leave you to experiment with your own styles. Um, one of the other ones I like is the animated one. I'll just change that to an animated. Update again. And if we go down now. If you watch now, you'll see that the images are actually changing in real time. So the images change like this in front of the user on their mobile phone, but the same principles apply. If they click on one of the images, it uses a light box or a slideshow, whichever you want. Now, if you wanted to have purely just an embedded slideshow, you didn't want to have thumbnails, etc., then just change that to a slideshow, which is with an S, and click Update. And we should now have a slideshow. So let's go down and look at our preview again. And you see now we've got a slideshow that we can go through. And there are other options for slideshows. Let me go quickly back to the image gallery screen and explain a little bit about that to you. So we'll go back to galleries, mobile galleries, and back into my wildlife gallery. And if I go down here, you'll find some additional options for slideshow, which is how long in a delay in, se in seconds to display the images for when you're using a slideshow, whether it should autoplay, whether, what percentage of the width it should use, and a, a pixel percentage for height for the landscape and portrait modes. That's quite important because as they switch around we try and fit the image as best we can into a particular height and width um, and if you switch it around it, it, it depends on what sort of images you're using as to whether or not you need to use that particular settings. Uh, a lot of times you don't even need to touch those and put any settings in there but if you find you've got uh, peculiar sized images, then you play around with the portrait and landscape pixel sizes to get something that looks good. So it was just a little extra option that I added in to try and give some more flexibility into how you uh, use this. So it's very, very simple to use, very easy. All you're doing is just uploading your images using the Upload Images button. Um, let me just do one other thing, just so that I can 
show you something else. I, I'll quickly go and show you how to edit a caption. Just click edit caption, put in there, um, American Bald Eagle. And that will display that as a, a caption on the image. Uh, the other thing is you can delete these images. So, for instance, maybe I didn't want to have the elephants. I can just remove that from the gallery. It's immediately removed from the gallery. Um, maybe I wanted to remove the lion as well. Maybe also this polar bear. Now, what I can also do, I uploaded these images from my computer. But any images that you have in your WordPress media library can also be added. All you do is just click get media library images. And you see I've got three images in the media gallery that aren't used in this particular slideshow. They were the ones that I just deleted. I didn't delete them from WordPress. I only deleted them from this, from use in this particular gallery. So if I wanted to add these back. Then all I have to do is just click the add button. So if I want to add the elephants back, click add. And it tells me that image was added. And you see there it appears. If I want to add the lion back, add. It was added. So it's very, very simple to use images that you've already got there, uploaded into WordPress, or you can upload them from your own computer. And all you have to do to get it displaying on your mobile websites is just copy the short code to wherever you want it on your mobile site and the image gallery will display from there. So a very, very simple, very easy way to get image galleries on your mobile sites.